Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm doing my Six Sock September question and answers video today. Um, it's going to be a bit of an odd one. I'm in an odd spot because I've got the little one cruising about um, and the light is all terrible but I thought I just need to record this video and get it out before September starts. So I have uh, on Instagram I asked if anybody had any questions about Six Socks September so that I could just get them all answered in this kind of one video uh, and hopefully you'll be able to find everything you need to know right here. So I'll just dive on in. So what is Six Socks September? Six Socks September is a sock knit along that will be running from the 1st to the 30th of September. The idea is that you try and knit six socks during the month. Uh, people are asking the dates, it is the 1st to the 30th of September, so it will start, you know, 12.01 uh, on the 1st and run through to 11.59 on the 30th. Um, a big question, what if I can't knit six? Well, I think it's always fun to just take part, <laughs> so please don't feel like you know you're not going to be able to get six done and so you shouldn't join in don't feel like that please please join in you might find that um the kind of excitement of the knit along spurs on your knitting a little bit and you might get six done but um it's definitely still going to be worth taking part uh, which leads me into the next question which was giveaways prizes yes i am going to be doing some prizes um i'm going to be doing at least one finishers prize and one taking part prize so um, it's definitely worth getting involved and just knitting as many socks as you can um a lot of people ask what counts so like do baby socks count things like that um yes uh as far as i'm concerned um as long as you're knitting a sock then you know it, that that counts for the, the knit along um i would say it needs to have a heel and a toe but as long as it's got a heel and a toe, that's fine. Um, yeah, I've got I've got to have some kind of like rule or guideline there, I suppose. Um, so then that's it, heel and toe, and you're good to go. <laughs> heel and toe, good to go. Um, yeah, but if you can only knit six baby socks, then that's fine. If you can make, you know yeah knee high socks then that's great but for some of us six baby socks would be a challenge and so that's fine it's a personal challenge for you do what you feel you can um yeah and in, and enjoy it and then the other question is where do i sign up um there isn't like a sign up you can just get involved by knitting your socks uh, if you would like to be entered in to win the prizes, then there will be two hashtags to use. The first hashtag will be hashtag uh, the number six, SS21. And that is for all of the like works in progress, everything like that. Uh, post with that hashtag. And then I will, uh, that's on Instagram. Um, use that hashtag on Instagram to be entered in to win one of the like, uh, takers parts prizes and if you would like to be entered to win the like I finished six o'clock September prize then you need to use the hashtag uh, hashtag 6SS21FO oh, well, they'll be down here so you can see them um, and so only use that hashtag if you finish all six socks and I would ask that you just post one post with all six of your socks in. So either do like a grid with the six socks in or um, post like a swipe through with a picture of the six socks. And um, then I, I know that each post is like one person's entry. So there's not going to be an awful lot going on on Ravelry uh, because I know that people aren't using Ravelry very much uh, right now. So we're not going to do lots over there. Um, I might post a little bit. I have a group for my podcast there. I might post a little bit in that, but the majority 
of the action. <laughs> the majority of the action will be over on Instagram. Um, and there was another question. Oh, and the last question was, does it have to be pairs? Um, and no, it is just six individual socks. So if you've got like uh, six socks that still need their mate, then that's fine. Go for it. I'm, for example, I have knit this one. Uh, one of my socks will be the pair for that. And um, yeah, I've got another pair, whole pair in mind, and then probably a couple of other like odd socks. So the only um, sort of thing that I will ask with um, finishing up pairs is that uh, only socks started in September will count. So if you're like halfway through a sock, then that can't be entered for six socks September. So it has to be cast on uh, during the month for it to count. And then obviously cast off at the end. Um, any sock, any weight of yarn counts as well. So you can do DK or I know a lot of people are doing DK socks at the moment so they can count uh, or fingering, whatever. If you want to knit like massive chunky socks, that's fine too. Um, so yes, and then if you are, if you are entering your finished objects um, at the end of the month, you will have until the end of the 1st of October. So I'm giving you an extra like 24 hours to post your finished objects so that you can like take nice pictures and things like that. Um, so, and then I will draw the winner sometime after the 1st of October. So I think that is everything that I wanted to say. I'm really, really excited to um, <laughs> to do this knit along, looking at all my yarn and thinking of all the possibilities and thinking about how crazy I am for trying to <laughs> run this knit along, but uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, so um, let me know down below if you're going to join in. If you have any more questions, I'll answer them in the comments below or feel free to hit me up over on Instagram and um, we can like discuss any other questions you might have. So, oh, grumpy children. Oh. So that is it. Thank you very much and I will see you soon and can't wait to see you knitting socks. Bye.